I am so excited. How to build a catapult. Things you will need. Two 8 foot 2 by 3 studs cut at the following lengths. Two at 7.5 inches. Three at 14 inches. Two at 24 inches. One at 28 inches. And one at 10.5 inches. You will also need a launching cup, two large eye hit hook screws, one and a half and three inch screws, a 24 inch bungee cord, and a 12 inch broom handle or dowel. Tools you will need a saw. We used a table saw and chop saw, but a regular hand saw will work just fine. A cordless drill with drill bits and a screw gun or screwdriver. A measuring tape safety glasses for everybody working, a chisel and hammer, and an adult to supervise or help with the project. Are you sure you're right? Step one, cut your two by three pieces to length. Remember to check your measurements before cutting. Step two, drill a pivot hole for your dowel three and a half inches from the end of both 24 inch pieces. Step three, Make straight lines five and a half inches and eight inches from the same ends of your two by threes. You'll be cutting these lines halfway through your two by threes and chiseling out the inside for stronger support. Step four, mark a straight line two and a half inches from the end of each 14 inch piece and repeat the cutting and chiseling process. Now the 14 inch pieces should fit inside the grooves on the 24 inch pieces. Step five, you will screw the seven and a half inch two by threes to the ends of the 24 inch pieces and attach an eye hook to the side with the pivot holes as shown. This frame will be the base of the catapult. Tip, since you are screwing on the end of a piece of wood, you should drill small pilot holes where the screws are going to go so you don't split or break your wood. That would make you have to start over from scratch. Step six, attach the 14 inch upright pieces to the grooves as shown and screw them together. Remember again to drill pilot holes before screwing the pieces together. Step seven, take the 10 and a half inch two by three and attach it to the top of the uprights as shown. This piece will stop the swinging arm of the catapult and launch your projectile. Step eight, cut the last 14 inch two by three with angles on both ends and attach it to the back and top of the catapult. This part might be tricky, but it is important as this piece will give the catapult added strength and keep it from breaking apart during use. Step nine, take your 24 inch two by three and drill a one inch hole in one end as shown. This hole will be the pivot point where your one inch dowel will connect to the swing arm to the catapult base. Tip, the closer you drill to the edge of the swing arm, the less likely your swing arm will scrape the ground when in motion. Step 10, attach your launching bowl or box to the end of the swing arm and screw the second eye hook directly under the bucket. This is where the bungee will attach to the swing arm and launch your projectile. Step 11, Slide the dowel or broomstick through the holes on the base of the catapult and through the bottom of the swing arm, making sure that the arm is free to move and roughly centered. Tip: When building our catapult, we also added padding on either side of the dowel to keep the swing arm centered, but is not required for the swing arm to work properly. Step 12: Carefully hook your 24-inch bungee cord to both eye hooks and admire your work. Tip, you can use 2x4 lumber instead of 2x3 lumber to make your catapult more sturdy, but you'll have to do some added math and change the numbers. Safety, please use safety glasses when building and using this catapult, as it can be very powerful. Wear safety glasses and follow all safety rules if you're using hand tools and power tools. Make sure to have an adult help you with your catapult and never point or fire the catapult at other people for any reason. Have fun and be safe, and good luck storming the castle. For more information, examples, or instructions, 
please visit stormthecastle.com. You can also purchase a catapult kit at a local hobby shop or online at catapultkits.com. Not overly dramatic. We need more bungee.